Hi friends, um, this YouTube channel is called N. Louise. Uh, my name is Natalie, the N in N. Louise. A um, long time ago when I opened this YouTube channel, I never thought I would see the day that I would actually be making videos. Um, all these years later, um, I feel that we are in the end of the end times, and so I thought it was important to put together a lot of knowledge that I've gained along the way. Of course, I didn't come by all of this knowledge myself. I've learned a lot of interesting things from a lot of interesting people, and um, I would like to share them with you. So that is what this set of videos is going to be about. What kind of truth am I going to share? Well, um, I grew up as a child in the Christian church. It was a non-denominational church. Um, it was somewhat charismatic. And um, I went to private school, so I grew up in the Protestant Christian faith. Um, I had some questions growing up, but never really paid too much attention to anything that seemed odd. I was always I was familiar with all the biblical stories, learned to memorize a lot of scripture, and throughout my life there were times where I was very close to the Lord. There was times that I was not so close to the Lord. Um, anyway, to make a long story short, in 2008. Uh, my husband and I um, decided to go back to church and about, mm, it, this was in 2007, and about six months later we were teaching youth group and in the evenings, uh, one evening a week. A lot of the kids that were in youth group were not coming from Christian households. Um, we kind of um, ended up in between teaching while they were looking for a youth pastor. Anyway, during that time I had prayed that the Lord would um, give me some wisdom and some lessons so that I could teach the kids biblically um, some very good knowledgeable things. Well, what happened in the process and the Lord led me along and we did some very interesting things. Um, I ended up um, having my own awakening experience. Um, it wasn't by accident. I even realized it at the time. I had run across some information one night when I was at home killing time online, and that began a whole different turn in my life. Um, I know some of you that are watching my intro video right now um, also had your own awakening experience and it's my hope that there are people watching this video that don't even know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, anyway, this awakening experience, um, it just changed me. I realized that the world that I lived in that was around me was not the world I thought I lived in. You know, I always, when people told me things, I always took it, you know, at face value. Um, I was sort of naive, and when it came to the church and the things they taught me as well, I just assumed it was just common knowledge, and I assumed that that was all, that was the way it was. Um, after I woke up in 2008 and I came to the realization that things were very different, I began a search of what else don't I know. So I researched, I researched, I researched. I had so much information going through my head, I could not even sleep at night because I, I just was constant, constant. And the thing was, upon awakening, I um, had all these thoughts flooding my mind of things that never made sense throughout my life. You know, where somebody in college made a, um, made a statement that I had to really think about and didn't... You know, I there was somebody in college that made a statement um, to me when I did a term paper, and he said, well, I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what else is there? 
um, the time in the 70s when there was a recall on some ivory shampoo because they had a um, Luciferian symbol on it and the church was in an uproar and so Procter and Gamble said oh we didn't know what that was we'll take it off immediately you know all these weird things that just kind of happened it didn't make sense all those things came flooding in anyway upon the awakening process I started realizing there were things I taught I was taught in church that were not right there were very high profile figures um, in the religious community that I looked up to and I realized they weren't who they said they were and all this stuff happening led me on a search to find out what else I didn't know um, you know this went on for years and years anyway I came to some biblical truths um, along the way that were just mind-blowing um, there are other people online who are gifted by the Lord that have brought information to the table that was even more mind-blowing and being that we're in the end of the end times we need to know this information you know just the basics what are we doing on this planet how come we are guilty of sin because of something that somebody else did in the Garden of Eden you know have you ever wondered you know if we're created in the image of the living God how is it we're born into sin I thought God created everything perfect and if somebody else made that state mistake how on earth am I guilty of what they did oh I have all these things um, answered I'm gonna go into the history of the world the pre Adamic history and I'm going to get into what really happened in the Garden of Eden what really was going on during the flood of Noah and where we are today how is it the Bible's full of genealogy just chapter after chapter was it just to prove one thing or was there a reason for all of this you know the stuff everybody skips through um, why was Jesus and the Pharisees so at odds with each other and when Jesus talked about this world okay what really is this world is it this wonderful place where we have goals and we have inheritances and we have all these things that we put together for ourselves and we're here to enjoy it and take these vacations and save our money or is this world something else completely different and nothing more than some type of illusion anyway I am going to address um, these particular questions as we go along um, I thank you for taking this journey with me I'm just going to keep rolling along to uh, videos and um, I'm going to bring some things to the table that are going to shake some people likewise there's going to be people in the religious communities that are going to be very upset with the things that I'm going to say and probably um, not be too nice about it I'm going to tell you right now we have all been systematically dumbed down even in our churches because somebody wanted it that way and it even says in the Bible that knowledge in the last days that knowledge will increase and guess what knowledge is increasing we're finding out things that have been hidden from us for a very long time and us those of us that are finding these things out realize that there are others that know this that don't want anyone finding out I'm going to tell you why you're here I'm going to show you I'm going to show you why you're on this planet what your purpose is I'm going to show you all of that and um, anyway I'm gonna go I'm all of my videos are going to be numbered one through whatever I want to make sure that if somebody sends me an email and I will be putting my email address down below because I am not opening the comment section up I don't have the time to battle trolls or sword fight the religious folks um, I am going to leave my email there and if somebody says well you know you didn't quite explain this I don't get this I can say you know I explained it in video number 10 um, so if you go there that's where I explained it um, anyway um, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close off the recorder and I am going to begin a series of videos that are probably going to make people's heads spin. So with that, I tell you, have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to my channel. God bless.